Hi students. In today's class, we are going to study about wave plates or retarders. A wave plate is an optical device that can change the state of polarization of an incident polarized wave. It consists of a thin plate of birefringence crystal having a definite thickness. So what are wave plates? In the any wave plates? Wave plates in the parnyal other thin eye birefringence crystal and birefringence crystal in the parnal valere thin eye to la doubly refracting crystal and wave plates. Adinde function and then we chal Adinde Mugalil or a plain polarized light to one the Vinal Adinde state of polarization either Martuno Adinde Mugalil or a polarized light to one the Vinal either Adinde Porataverina beam Idil Kudi Kadana, a wave plate till Kudi Kadana, Porataverina beam in the state of polarization will be changed. That is, when a beam of polarized light is incident on a wave plate, the emerging beam will also be polarized but its state of polarization will be changed so what do you mean when you say the state of polarization is changed suppose in a uh, polarized light uh, the uh, light is vertically polarized in a beam of light which is polarized uh, the polarized beam has vertical polarization on passing through certain types of wave plates, you can con you can convert it into horizontal polarization. That is, the plane of polarization can be changed. Okay, so that is meant by changing the state of polarization. Or, there are different kinds of polarized light other than the linearly polarized light that you have learned. Till now, you have learned only about linearly polarized light. That is light which has its vibrations confined to a particular plane and along a certain line. But there are other kinds also called circularly polarized light and elliptically polarized light. So, on passing through a, um, a wave plate, suppose you are passing a left circularly polarized light through a a wave plate it can get converted into a right circularly polarized wave or vice versa that is you can change the handedness of the circularly polarized light all these come under changing the state of polarization so wave plates are optical devices which can change the state of polarization of an incident polarized wave and what is this uh, wave plate? It is simply a doubly refracting crystal having some specific thickness. Okay, so one wave plate is one doubly refracting crystal and one thick thickness. Okay, now wave plates are of two types. One is the quarter wave plate and the other is the half wave plate. So, what is a quarter wave plate and what is a half wave plate? Now, we begin with quarter wave plate. So, a, when a beam of plane polarized light, now this crystal, I am taking a doubly refracting crystal here and I am allowing a beam of plane polarized light to be incident on it. This is the incident plane polarized light. Okay. So, we are allowing a beam of plane polarized light to be incident normally on a doubly refracting crystal in a direction perpendicular to its optic axis. Okay, we, are, we have to satisfy three conditions. That is, a beam of plane polarized light must be incident normally. It must be incident normally to the uh, crystal. It must be incident on a doubly refracting crystal and its direction must be perpendicular to the optic axis of the crystal. See in this figure, I have considered a crystal like this and this is the optic axis of my crystal. Suppose this is the optic axis 
then my beam of light is incident normally in a direction perpendicular to the optic axis and it is incident on a doubly refracting crystal this crystal is doubly refracting so when a beam of plain polarized light is incident normally on a doubly refracting crystal in a direction perpendicular to the optic axis what happens is it splits into two components an e component and an o component when an ordinary unpolarized beam of light is incident on a doubly refracting crystal it splits into an e ray and an o ray but when an already plain polarized light comes and falls on a doubly refracting crystal it splits into two components an e component and an uh, o component now e component has vibrations like an e ray per parallel to the plane of incidence and o component has vibrations perpendicular to the plane of incidence now since they are incid since our plane polarized light is incident perpendicular to the optic axis we know in a, along a direction perpendicular to the optic axis o and e components will travel in the same direction but with different velocities so that when they come out of the crystal they'll have a path difference adayid nammal uh, endu consider cheyanam or beam of plane polarized light normal directionil pinne or doubly refracting crystal inde mugalil vannu veeyugeyana adinu porame ee doubly refracting crystal inde optic axis inum perpendicular aayittu venam nammade പ്ലെയിൻ പോളറൈസ് ലൈറ്റ് വന്ന് വീഴാൻ അങ്ങൻ ഈ രീതിയിൽ അതൊരു പ്ലെയിൻ പോ ഡബ്ലി റിഫ്രാക്ടിൻ്റെ മുകളിൽ ഒരു പ്ലെയിൻ പോളറൈസ് ലൈറ്റ് വന്ന് വീഴുകയാണെങ്കിൽ ഇതിനെന്ത് സംഭവിക്കും ക്രിസ്റ്റലിൻ്റെ ഉള്ളിൽ ഇതിന് ഒരു ഒ കമ്പോണൻറ്റും ഈ കമ്പോണൻറ്റും ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കും ഈ കമ്പോണൻറ്റ് ൻ്റെ വൈബ്രേഷൻസ് പാരലൽ ടു ദി പ്ലെയിൻ ഓഫ് ഇൻസിഡൻസ് ഒ കമ്പോണിൻ്റെ വൈബ്രേഷൻ പെർപ്പെൻഡിക്കുലർ ടു ദി പ്ലെയിൻ ഓഫ് ഇൻസിഡൻസ് നമുക്കറിയാം പെർപ്പെൻഡിക്കുലർ ടു ദി ഒപ്റ്റിക് ആക്സിസ് ആണ് ഒരു റേ മൂവ് ചെയ്യുന്നതെങ്കിൽ അവിടെ ഒ ആൻഡ് ഇ കമ്പോണൻസ് ഒരേ ദിശയിൽ ട്രാവൽ ചെയ്യും പക്ഷെ വ്യത്യസ്ത വെലോസിറ്റികളിൽ വ്യത്യസ്ത വെലോസിറ്റിയിൽ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഏതെങ്കിലും ഒരു കമ്പോണൻറ്റ് അധിക വെലോസിറ്റിയിൽ നീങ്ങുന്നു അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ അവിടെ ഇവർ തമ്മിൽ ഒരു പാത്ത് ഡിഫറൻസ് ഉണ്ടാകുന്നു വെൻ ദി കം ഔട്ട് ഓഫ് ദി ക്രിസ്റ്റൽ ദിൽ ഹാവ് എ പാത്ത് ഡിഫറൻസ് നൗ if the thickness of the crystal is such that the path difference between o and e components is lambda by 4 that is their phase difference is pi by 2 then the crystal is called a quarter wave plate adayidu nammada crystal inde thickness ee o um e component gal thammil ഒരു ലാംഡ ബൈ ഫോർ പാത്ത് ഡിഫറൻസ് ഉണ്ടാക്കാൻ കഴിവുള്ളതാണെങ്കിൽ ആ ക്രിസ്റ്റലിനെ നമ്മൾ വിളിക്കുന്ന പേരാണ് ക്വാട്ടർ വേവ് പ്ലേറ്റ് എന്താണ് അവിടുത്തെ കണ്ടീഷൻ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദി കണ്ടീഷൻ ദേർ ഇഫ് ദ ക്രിസ്റ്റൽ ഹാസ് എ തിക്നെസ് സച്ച് ദാറ്റ് ദ പാത്ത് ഡിഫറൻസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ഒ എൻ ഡി കമ്പോണൻസ് ഈസ് ലാംഡ ബൈ ഫോർ path difference lambda by 4 means phase difference of pi by 2 then my crystal is called a quarter wave plate appo ivide engane thickness ennu parayna parameter ivide engane vannu i told you when the o and e components come out of the crystal they'll have a path difference now how much will that path difference be equal to etra aayirikkum aa path difference adu nammal engane kandupidikkum we find out since the light rays are passing through a doubly refracting medium you have to consider the optical path now what is optical path the product of the refractive index of the medium and the distance traveled in the medium that is mu into t if t is the thickness of the crystal okay so path traveled by the o ray will be mu o t and the path traveled by the e component i meant o component and e component the path traveled by the e component will be mu e t so that the difference between these two paths will be mu o t minus mu e t or it will be equal to mu o difference mu e whichever is bigger mu o difference mu e into t this is how that thickness factor came if this difference is equal to lambda by 
then my crystal is called a quarter wave plate did you understand so who is the deciding factor here mu o and mu e are fixed for a given crystal lambda is fixed for the light now how can you make mu o difference mu e into t equal to lambda by 4 you just adjust the thickness of the crystal engane aanu namakku ivar thammilulla path difference ne lambda by 4 enna value ne thulyamaakkan pattiya lambda fixed aanu ഒരു പ്ലെയിൻ പോളറൈസ്ഡ് ലൈറ്റിന് മ്യൂ ഒ മ്യൂ ഇ ഒരു ഗിവൺ ക്രിസ്റ്റലിന് ഫിക്സഡ് ആണ് അത് കാൽസൈറ്റ് ആയിക്കോട്ടെ ക്വാട്സ് ആയിക്കോട്ടെ വിച്ച് എവർ ബി യുവർ ഡബ്ലി റിഫ്രാക്ടിംഗ് ക്രിസ്റ്റൽ മെറ്റീരിയൽ ഓഫ് യുവർ ഡബ്ലി റിഫ്രാക്ടിംഗ് ക്രിസ്റ്റൽ ദേ ഓൾ വിൽ ഹാവ് ദർ ഓൺ മ്യൂ ഒ ഇൻ മ്യൂ ഇ ദൻ വിച്ച് പരാമീറ്റർ മസ്റ്റ് ചേഞ്ച് ടു ഇക്വേറ്റ് ദീസ് ടു വാല്യൂസ് ദ തിക്നസ് മസ്റ്റ് ചേഞ്ച് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വൈ ഐ ടോൾഡ് ഇഫ് ദ തിക്നസ് ഓഫ് ദ ക്രിസ്റ്റൽ ഈസ് സച്ച് ദാറ്റ് ദി പാത്ത് ഡിഫറൻസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ഒ ആൻഡ് ഇ കമ്പോണൻസ് ഈസ് ലാംഡ ബൈ ഫോർ ദൻ ദ ക്രിസ്റ്റൽ ഈസ് കോൾഡ് എ ക്വാർട്ടർ വേവ് plate okay so i will write down the equation for the thickness what should be the thickness of the crystal so that it acts as a quarter wave plate so i can get it from this equation that is mu difference mu e into t is equal to lambda by 4 from that what is my t my t will be equal to lambda by 4 into mu o difference mu e okay so this is the of my crystal so this is the thickness required for a quarter wave plate okay t is equal to lambda by 4 into mu o difference mu e so what are the conditions that you require you require a plain polarized light to fall on a doubly refracting crystal normally in a direction perpendicular to the optic axis then what will happen why are you making it fall perpendicular to the optic axis then only the o and e components will travel in the same direction but with different velocities when they come out of the crystal they will have a difference if the thickness of the crystal is adjusted so that the path difference is equal to lambda by 4 then my crystal is called then who is called it is not the ray it is the crystal which is called a quarter wave plate now what is the function of this quarter wave plate quarter wave plate is used to produce and detect circularly and elliptically polarized light which we will learn in detail in the next session and what Uh, that is a first type of wave plate that is quarter wave plate next what you have to learn is a half wave plate from the name itself you can understand how will you write down the explanation for a half wave plate i'll tell you when a beam of plane polarized light is incident normally in a direction perpendicular to the optic axis on a doubly refracting crystal it will split into two components e and o component okay because they are traveling perpendicular to the optic axis e and o components travel in the same direction but with different velocities that is my second point third point because of this when they come out of the crystal they will have a path difference and how much will be that path difference be mu o t minus mu e t that is this path their path difference if t is the thickness of your crystal now if the thickness of the crystal is such that this path difference mu o t minus mu e t is equal to lambda by 2 lambda by 2 means path difference lambda by 2 means phase difference of pi if the path difference is lambda by 2 then the crystal is called a half wave plate or what should be the thickness of a half wave plate t must be equal to lambda by 2 into mu o difference mu e now what is the use of a half wave plate it is used to invert the handedness of elliptical or circularly polarized light or it is used to change the plane of polarization of a plane linearly polarized light through 90 degree 
it is used to invert the handedness means you can convert a left handed uh, circularly polarized light to a right handed circularly polarized light you can change or vice versa or you can change the uh, right handed elliptically polarized light to a left handed electrically uh, elliptically polarized light that is you allow left handed elliptically polarized light to pass through a half wave plate what emerges out will be a right handed one okay or if it is linearly polarized may be inclined at an angle of 45 degree with the optic axis then when it comes out it will be its plane of polarization will be changed to or rotated by 90 degree that is something like this if it's like this and you allow it to pass through this and when it comes out it will have its plane of polarization rotated 90 degree okay so this is the function of a half wave plate i think quarter wave plate and half wave plate is clear to all of you if you have any doubts please do contact thank you